Okay. So, um, yeah. So when I'm when I'm let, let's say I've got a, a, a something to clear that's coming up for me, a grievance or or a feeling or a projection uh, that's coming up. It could be with a bank or a person or a situation or a health condition. Um, as it no, it depends how I clear it in terms of using the Course in Miracles, praying to surrender it, cancelling it, or just going to the observer. Um, and I do uh, now. Usually, if I have to clear something, um, uh, uh, that uh, well, usually if I have to clear something. That there's a few things. It depends on how heavy it is. I mean, I I don't like doing spiritual work if I don't have to. I mean, if I don't, I'd rather not have these thoughts and feelings come back and just, they were just gone forever without doing any but sometimes they're the, you know it can be what i call heavy stuff where there's heavy feelings and a heavy story you know heavy heavy negative uh, thoughts coming around uh, a situation a person a bank or a, or an illness in which case then um uh, because i've been doing this these processes for about 20 years um so automatically there is a capacity just to allow feelings to run in the background without making a story about them. So that automatically happens. If you just keep applying the practice of whatever comes up, just let it be there without trying to push it down or run away from it. So there might be some unpleasant feelings and just let those be there throughout the day without making just sure you're not trying to repress it by pushing it down with your thoughts, by overthinking, by eating too many donuts, by watching too much TV just let it be there and you just allow those feelings just to be there so that they're, you know, allowing them to sort of evaporate uh, away rather than be kept inside. So that's, that will automatically be done. That usually nowadays, in the early days, I had to usually sit and, and just allow the feelings to press, but they're very, very subtle nowadays. So it doesn't really require any sort of practice as such. Then, um, now, if the thoughts are quite, and the thoughts can be quite, you know, aggressive, like they don't want to let, they want to keep coming back, you know, um, uh, over and over again. And, even, you know, and so then I find, you know, the inquiry is quite easy to do once the, the observer is easy to do once the thing is, you know, I would say like 70% deleted. You know, once it's very, very soft, there's hardly any feelings there. But I know as a hypnotherapist, I mean, basically thoughts are coming back they just need to be washed out. You just wash them out. You just keep cancelling and praying to surrender them until it gets so boring to hold on to the story that your head can't, you know, it's like, try saying, uh, um, I cancel my grievance against banks for seven or eight hours nonstop during the day and thinking, and then you'd be fed up. You know, it's like, I can't, I'm not going to think about a bank. I can't think about a bank. There is no grievance about a bank. It's like the ego goes, no, I mean, you can't just cancel it over and over and over again for hours on end. And then it's like, it just gets deleted out. It's it's not deleting it. It's not canceling it. It's not praying incessantly. And then it just keeps coming back over and over again. But the power of canceling or nonstop praying, I learned that the hard way through very severe illnesses. Like, you know, if you pray like your ass is on fire, or cancel like your ass is on fire for days and weeks, it actually it actually goes faster then you just do one prayer and hope it's all gone you know so you just like you know it, it, it's it, this thought is biting me i'm going to keep canceling it until it just loses its teeth and it disappears um so that's with heavy stuff you know it's like well you're not going to win this thought's not going to win i shall keep canceling and praying to surrender you until you disappear so just you can show up as long as you like but i'm going to delete you so, so it's almost like a fight with this thought that wants to keep coming back. And then uh, in no through experience, all thoughts will shift. Uh, you know, if you, with, um, it's just some of them are a little bit more difficult to shift. Now, I know people will say there's no order of difficult everything, there's no order of miracles. But, the, you know, in my experience, you know, you just do whatever it takes to shift it out because it's blocking, it's blocking miracles, basically. Um, then, of course, you know, once you've done the heavy thing, the feelings are, uh, let's say, 70% gone, and you've done the heavy duty praying, so the thoughts aren't hardly there, you know, being in the witnesser, and then not, thoughts not coming back and feelings not coming back is just, you just finish it off very, very easily. 
so that is so the heavy stuff is allowing the feelings and uh, and also just doing the prayers i surrender this and i pray to god for forgiveness transcendence and miracles or i cancel my cancel my belief in whatever i'm an infinite being do it over and over again hours every day if necessary uh, because once these thoughts and then and then observe and and, and when it no longer comes back incredible i mean I, uh, i've had all kinds of incredible miracles happen I, i've shared them before in other videos so i won't bore everyone again but spectacular miracles happen but i have to release it 100 percent. so uh, that's the order of how i do things